What's up guys, let's chat six here again. Today we're taking a look at the AMVR replacement facial interface. I know VR Cover has had some trouble keeping up with their stock lately, so I'm curious to see if the AMVR version is a good alternative. I wanna thank AMVR for sponsoring this video. If you love VR as much as I do, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the AMVR facial interface page. They advertise that it has special vents on it so that air can escape and you don't deal with as much fogging. So it comes with one lens cover, two facial interfaces, two side wedges, a facial interface bracket so you can attach it to your Quest 2, and no, you can't choose the color that the bracket is. It's the only color available right now. And then they have a nose pad that's attachable so that you can help prevent light leaks. Again, they're showing how breathable it is with these holes in it. And you can see these side wedges help to push it up to your face so that you don't have as much light leak on the sides either. It also advertises that you can use glasses with it, which is a big improvement from the VR cover because I know that people who wear glasses tend to not be able to use VR cover. That's a pretty basic rundown of the product we're looking at today. It is $26.99 right now with free prime delivery. So here I have the three types of facial interfaces in question, the VR cover facial interface, the AMVR version, and this is the default Quest foam, which we all know is pretty uncomfortable, as well as the fact that it absorbs a lot of sweat, so that's why you would want to replace that as soon as possible. I think it's a good idea to take a look at what you get in the VR cover kit, and then we can compare with the AMVR. I've already had this put together for a while. I've had my VR cover since about October, maybe a little later into November, and it's been on my Quest 2 ever since. So it comes with this bracket and this nose piece. It is kind of a dark green, so if that bothers you, that's something to keep in mind. And this is one of the facial interfaces, and here is the other one that comes along with it. Taking a look at the AMVR one, you of course get the bracket on it that's orange with the Velcro on the other side to hold the facial interfaces in. Most AMVR products if not all, come with this lens protector. So if you need to take it outside for any reason or just to keep it safe from any sun rays or anything, any damage. The nose piece again. Now this one is a true black. So if that's your preference, that's something to keep in mind. And of course, the two facial interfaces. Here they are. They're two different sizes. They feel pretty squishy, maybe a little thin, but we'll find out how they feel in reality. And these again are the two side pieces that you can stick in there. And it kind of brings the face interface closer to your cheeks so you don't get any light leak towards the sides and a warranty card here are the two brands of facial interfaces for the quest 2 side by side and everything you get in the package both of them have the nose pieces both of them have the brackets with velcro on it to hold the facial interfaces in place both of them come with two of these face pads AMVR includes these side panels to hold them up a little more as well as these lens protectors that's just a nice little little bonus they like to throw in. Right away though, I'm noticing this one is a lot cushier than the AMVR version. Yes, they try to keep the holes there for venting purposes, which is nice, but at the same time, it doesn't seem like it'll reduce the discomfort of the Quest 2 very much. We'll have to find that out in reality though. I'm gonna choose the one that's a little thicker to give it a fair chance against the VR cover and see how they compare. So this is what it looks like when you have it put on properly. Then you're gonna take your facial interface and you're gonna Velcro it on there. Make sure you account for the dip just like that. Now, if you plan on using these, you're gonna let a little bit of this go, stick them in and put it back around it. It's kind of just gonna sit here with a slit, but that just keeps it up a little more so it's more rounded on your face. Put this one on as well. And here's another comparison of the two. So the VR cover nose piece does kind of annoy me because these flaps are loose and they're in my way. This seems like it's gonna be a lot less annoying because it may conform to my nose a little better, but I want to try it out. Here I have my Quest 2. This is how the VR cover would pop in, just like this. After you've taken out the default foam, of course, it just kind of pops in with a couple clicks. And here's how it pops in for the AMVR version. You can kind of see how the nose piece is already forming and how it will block some light from coming in while I'm playing. And you can also see, again, how much it pushes these up when you have the side pieces. So I do have my Quest 2 here with the VR cover installed for now. I wanna try both on one after the other so that I can compare. So let's try this one for now. Very soft, very cushioned. There is a little bit of light leak even with the nose piece in place. So hopefully the other one will solve that well. Not really breathable like 
they advertise. I definitely feel like it's all trapped. And I do have that issue with VR cover where it fogs the lenses up at times if the Quest hasn't heated up quite yet. So that's my thoughts on the VR cover. Let's switch over to the AM VR one and see how it compares. Try this on. This one is a little less comfortable. I don't completely hate it though. It's quite dark in here. Not really much light leak. And I can feel the air flowing through it. So it likely will solve that fogging issue that the VR cover has. Other than that, there's not much to say. I really like the side pieces because they definitely help to hold it up to your face more. Here's one last look at what it looks like. I do hope they add replacement colors for the brackets in the future because I know not everyone's a fan of orange. But if you can tolerate that, then it's not a big deal. I found the VR cover to be slightly more comfortable. It's a little thicker than the AM VR. The AM VR, however, covers the light leak pretty well. If you're more worried about comfort, I'd say go for the VR cover. But if you don't mind sacrificing a little comfort for more immersion with less light leak, I would go for the AM VR version. They're both solid facial interfaces, and I definitely think the AM VR version is a suitable alternative for the VR cover. One more time, you can buy this on Amazon for $26.99. I'm going to throw an affiliate link down below so you can support the channel at no additional cost to you. I want to thank my patrons, Avelino Sanchez and Lipnox VR, for supporting the channel. If you'd like to see what additional benefits you can unlock from joining my Patreon, check that out in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon down below so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thanks. Bye.